I can't believe Bumblebee's coming back to Griffin Rock. This time, everything's going to be perfect for my BFF. BFF? Bot friend forever. Oh, is there room on the banner for that? Ugh, I think welcome Bumblebee, hero of the galaxy, is plenty. Blades, Optimus Prime's transmission indicated that Bumblebee will not arrive for another three days. Way too soon. I haven't even learned to play an instrument for the welcome song yet. Did it ever occur to you that Bumblebee might be coming here for something important? Visiting me is important? Yeah. Ha. I wouldn't break out the balloons and party hats just yet. Here's the helium for the balloons, Blades. <laughs> oh. Cody, can you mail this for me? It has to go out today, and I kind of got my hands full here. Sure, sis. You spelled welcome wrong. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> you better run. Oh, nice kicks, Frankie. They're Dad's newest invention. Ski sneakers, water ski shoes. We're just going to test them. Want to come? Absolutely. As exciting as party planning is, it's times like this I'm glad I can turn into a boat. The science of my ski sneakers is simple. The soles take in surface water, then blast it out behind, creating propulsion. You will, in essence, be sea skating. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! what it's called? That and saving our lives. For which we are grateful. I'm afraid my lab wasn't as lucky. Where'd that wave come from, Doc? The possible causes of oceanic volatility are myriad. I'll be able to do more comprehensive research once I get my equipment repaired. But Frankie, I may need to borrow your blow dryer. B-Day is finally here! And things are bumble beautiful. So, first I do a welcome speech, then the song, next the surprise. Remember, Cody, don't pull the rope until I yell, now. Now, got it. Then we start on my list of things for B to see and do. B is Bumblebee. Remember, the more fun we make his visit, the longer he'll stay. Oh boy. I have prepared some poetry in honor of Bumblebee's arrival. <clears throat> code 7, Code 7, so unlike a Code 11, regulations for the populace allow no calamity to topple us. I would continue, but I require a rhyme for protocol. This is my contribution. I call it Bumblebee and Optimus. Well, I think I can fit you two in after hiking and scrapbooking. Everyone needs to amp down. Bumblebee's only visiting because Optimus sent him. Warrior Scouts don't get vacation time. He's here! He's here! He's here! And now, a few words of welcome. 
It is with great honor that we... What do you mean there's no time to visit? I planned our week! Oh, you're here on a mission. What are the chances? Greetings, rescue bots. My team has detected a newly activated Cybertronian artifact on or near Griffin Rock. I am searching the surrounding ocean. Please assist Bumblebee in scouting the island. If you find the relic, alert me. Only the power of a Prime can turn off this technology. An assignment from Optimus himself is truly an honor. Happy to help, Bumblebee. Let's go tell Chief about our new mission. But we can't leave now! <laughs> Fossil hunting for an ancient alien artifact? Noble! Yeah, so what do we get if we win this scavenger hunt? It's not a game, Cade. Cybertronian technology is extremely fragile and dangerous. Ooh, well then you guys should have kept better track of it, huh? Keep better track of you. B says his sensor will beep when the artifact's close by. Okay, then let's start searching. Not so fast, Danny. I just got a call from the mainland that your helicopter license expired. What? No way! I sent in my renewal three days ago. Cody mailed it for me. I was gonna, but then Frankie showed up and we tested Doc's prototype and the wave hit us. And I forgot. Sorry, I'll do your chores for a week. <sighs> it's okay, Cody. It was my responsibility. But if you want to clean my room... I'll send your paperwork in. Until it's processed, you aren't allowed to fly blades. But Bumblebee needs our help! Besides, I'm the one who does all the flying, so can't you just... No. If someone saw Danny at your controls, her license could be gone for good. Rules are rules. Specifically, our safety rule 46306, subsection 7. But Danny can still drive, right? Maybe she could ride with B. Why would I mind sharing my partner with you? It'll be my two best friends riding together. <laughs> I'm fine. I don't know what you said, but you are one sweet ride, Bumblebee. Powerful, fast, and smooth. Oh, uh, excuse me, Bumblebee. See that field ahead? Yeah, one time, Danny and I rescued a cow that got trapped in a barbed wire fence there. Oh, oh, and on the left is Courtney Bluff. Once... Plates, can we cut the chatter and focus on the mission? <sighs> yeah. Let's take that fire road and search the deep forest team. Oh, yeah, don't worry about me. I'll, I'll catch up. Eventually. It seems like we've covered every inch of this island. Well, Optimus only said the relic might be on the island. Perhaps he has already located the artifact somewhere offshore. We should probably head home to the firehouse and compare notes. <laughs> hey, finally! Oh, oh, Bumblebee, once we're back, we can watch my favorite movie. It's about these two friends who travel around together and have wacky adventures. Hey, guys, I just got a call from Captain Shaw. A right whale is swimming close to the ferry. Really close. Take care of it, Cody. Hold up, team. This is an air and sea rescue. Heat wave head for the ocean. Blades and I will meet you there. But what are Bumblebee and Danny gonna do? They'll wait back at home with Boulder and Chase. Land-based vehicles aren't much help on the water. So much for showing off my new rescue moves. So, Bumblebee, how about I give you a tour of the firehouse's upgrades since your last visit? Aww, but I wanted to do that! Blades, stop eavesdropping on the comm channel. I didn't know whales swam so close to shore. Well, they don't, usually. That's what's weird. Cody, can you see if Doc's Ocean Lab picked up any data on the whale swimming patterns? Sure thing, Graham.
right, nice and easy, everyone. No shoving. The whale's not a man-eater. I think. Down a little. Left. And... Bingo! Done! Now we can get back to hanging out with Bumblebee. First, we need to tow this ferry into dry dock for repairs. Will that take a long time? Depends how fast we get started. First the rogue wave, now the right whale going the wrong way. My instincts tell me there must be a connection, but my instruments show what is referred to among scientists as bubkis. Cody, have any other emergency calls come in about weird ocean stuff? Funky algae blooms, crazy riptides? Nope. Well, last week my dad said that Madeline Pinch asked for a permit to do some underwater drilling, but the mayor gave her a big thumbs down. And well, he should. It's far too dangerous to use mining equipment so near our island. Since when has the Pinch family ever taken no for an answer? We'll let your father know if we discover anything, Cody. Come, my little prawn. We're off to the sea lab to fish for answers. <laughs> That was definitely not on our schedule of activities. Woohoo! Yeah. Way to go, Danny. You set a new training course speed record. <laughs> nice job, partner. Partner? But enjoy it while you can, sis. Me and Heatwave are about to crush your time. How about you, Chase? You want to take a crack at that record? As we determine the Cybertronian artifact is not on the island, I believe I have a new mission. Lots of luck beating B and D, the dynamic duo. What? But I'm your original B. That rhymes with me, and it stands for Blades. You're not upset, are you, Blades? This is a driving course. I, I didn't think you'd mind if I teamed up with B. <laughs> mind? Why would I mind? I don't mind. Oh, hey, I have an idea. You can be our pit crew. What does that mean? You sit on the sidelines, and you just... No, no, no. I think I've had enough of that for one day, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a buddy movie to watch. B and Danny are supposed to be my best friends, not each other's. Now they don't even need me. But I do. Ah! <gasps> Optimus Prime, sir. How much of that did you hear? Enough. Where are Bumblebee and your fellow rescue bots? At the training course. Um, I can show you how to get. That is not necessary. You are the only bot I require. You. Want to hang out with me? The fate of this island depends upon it. I won't let you down, sir. Whoa, Optimus! I didn't know you were here. Should I get my dad? That will not be necessary, Cody. Blades can provide the assistance I need. Please inform Chief that we are on a mission. He said, we, me and Optimus, where are we? Ready for our mission, sir. Sir, I must admit, legally permitted unfettered speed is rather enjoyable. Give it all you got, Chase. We can catch Bumblebee on this straightaway. I believe this is what humans call hanging in there. Grab on, I'll pull you out. I apologize, Chief. Boulder assured me our racetrack was built to code. We'll investigate that later. Assuming there is a later. Guess 
fishing does have a practical use. Please do not throw us back. We're not sure. Graham, any idea what caused the sinkhole? Yes, but it doesn't make much sense. The ground's soggy, super saturated with seawater. Not what you want to hear when you live on an island. We'd better call Doc. Um, Optimus, what is our mission exactly? Retrieval of the Cybertronian artifact. Some form of Earth technology has activated the relic. The relic turns everything in its path to liquid. Rock, organic matter, metal. If we do not shut it down soon, this entire island will become water. But then everyone on it would... Yes, that is why I need you to fly to the relic quickly and help me retrieve it from the ocean. Wait until I tell Danny and B. So, where to, sir? I'm not entirely certain. The water's depth is interfering with my detection device. Sorry to interrupt, but I think I know someone in the neighborhood who can help. So, we're looking for a liquidator. <laughs> I think you mean liquefier. That would explain the message we got from Chief about a sinkhole. Triangulating the firehouse chasm with the rogue wave and the lost whale, I may be able to pinpoint the artifact. Cody, please inform Optimus I will forward the data as soon as possible. Sooner than possible would be better, Doc. Dad, Griffin Rock's in deep trouble, and it's getting deeper. Geysers, flooding, and sinkholes, right? The mayor just called. Forward us the 411 and the 911s, Cody. We'll split up and take each emergency as it arises. Rescue bots? <laughs> and honorary rescue bots. Roll to the rescue. Late. The signal source should be three degrees southeast of your current location. Thanks, Chuck. We're on our way. I am grateful that you were willing to temporarily leave your team to assist me. Optimus, helping you is, I mean, you're bigger than Elvis. I have not met this Elvis and am unaware of his size. But have you no concern that your partner will feel left out of this mission? No, Danny can't fly right now. But she wouldn't mind anyway, because what we're doing is for everyone. Indeed. For a team to reach its full potential, there is no room for jealousy among peers. Okay, this isn't about Danny anymore, is it? I believe we have reached our destination. This mechanism likely activated the Cybertronian relic. Lower me. Cody? Are you seeing this? That's Madeline Pinch's drilling platform. But the mayor told her she couldn't use it. Oh, someone's gonna be in trouble. Yeah, the whole island. Please be advised that all lanes are temporarily carpools. Problem solved. Not even close. Guys, terra firma is getting less firm by the minute. Tell me about it. Drive to high and dry ground. You'll be okay. Liquefying artifact no longer operational. Your island should regain its former solidity by tomorrow. That's too long to wait, guys. 
They call it quicksand for a reason. Try to stay still, Daddy. We're on our way. Blades? I'm flying as fast as I can. I am slowing you down. Good luck. Thank you, Optimus. Oh, I wish Bumblebee knew how to do an air rescue. Make great partners. Thanks for being there for Danny when I couldn't, Bumblebee. Ah, from your reaction, I'm guessing you didn't actually say beep, bloop, beep, huh? He said that's what it means to be on a team. We're all partners. When did you learn Bumblebee? I didn't. I just know it's the truth. Wind-powered work of art. <laughs> I always thought those things were power line decorations. Watch how high I can make it go. Too much string blades! Look out for that! Tree. If it had an engine, propeller, or even rudimentary steering, that could have been avoided. But then it wouldn't be a kite. That's Taylor's plane! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Taylor, steer the plane away from the island and bail out. Save. Not over yet. Uh, oh. uh, somebody told Doc to evacuate the lab. The steering's gone. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's laid a oak in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Thanks to the new collision foam cannon that Boulder and I collaborated on. Quick thinking, Doc. That foam put the fire out, too. Not a benefit we intended. We're smarter than we thought. You can release the plane now, Doc.
wonder what caused the engine to catch fire. The way the controls froze, I'd say it was an electrical short. Real question is, what made the plane turn back toward the island after Taylor ditched it? Suppose it could have been gremlins. All <laughs> oh, right, gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> what are gremlins? Here, a gremlin is a mischievous creature that disables machinery and electronics. The very nerve. What does a gremlin look like? Those things get into machines? Well... That would explain the many mechanical melodies that seem to plague this island. Runaway lawnmowers, for instance. I don't think... And Mr. Harrison's malfunctioning helipack. And how about my problems flying at high altitudes? That would be your fear of heights, Blades. Nope. Gremlins. Says here, gremlins are just myths made up by people looking for something to blame when things go wrong. Now that I believe. You know what else is considered a myth? Aliens. And yet... I can't fly this thing! Gremlin! Gremlin? Everything okay? Just covering Danny's night shift, buddy. Didn't you just work the night shift? Nice of you to keep track. I heard you call out like you were having a nightmare. Cody, just go back to bed. Maybe you should talk to Doc Green. He used to have nightmares too, until he came up with a way to get rid of them. Well, good for him. But I can handle a bad dream. Why don't you just go back? Griffin Rock emergency. I'll take care of it. Turbine tower's coming loose. We have to secure it. Okay, but isn't this two night shifts in a row? I'm a night person. Uh, thought you might need some help. <sighs> All right, buckle up. Just need tightening. E Wave, brace the tower. I'll check the other side. Okay. Cade? I can't believe I dosed off. That's not all you did. You put Cody in danger. But I'm fine, Heatwave. Rescuers have to be on top of their game. Cade, get some sleep. I want to. I'll go see Doc in the morning. Morning, Cody. Where are you off to so early? Oh, uh, over to Frankie's. Cade mentioned he and Heatwave were going to the lab, too. Father's intuition is telling me something is up. A sibling intuition, too. And Rescue Bot's intuition. 
I think, remind me to look up intuition. Uh, Kay didn't want me saying anything. Especially to Grim and Danny. Let's hear it. <sighs> He's been having bad dreams about gremlins. Doc's gonna help him. Oops. This is probably our fault. Probably? What happened? When we were little, Danny and I would tell Kate scary gremlin stories because he was always bossing us around. It kind of gave him nightmares. But if gremlins aren't real, why would Kate be afraid of them? Because everything feels real in a nightmare. It's like having your worst fears come to life. Then my nightmare would undoubtedly contain a town where no one broke the law, rendering me useless. <sighs> Mine would be cumulus clouds. Seriously, they're nature's shapeshifters. Danny, Graham, for your sakes, Doc better be able to help Cade. Well, Cade, in most cases, nightmares abate over time. But I've invented a way to speed up the process. The nightmare imaging device. You lie inside this soundproofed sleep chamber, wear the neural impulse helmet, then fall asleep. Once you begin dreaming about gremlins, they will be recreated inside this energy chamber exactly how you imagine them. What do you mean, like, for real? They'll look real, but they'll only be made of energy and crystal particles, like a hologram that's solid. A gremlin could be made of pudding, and I'd still have nightmares. But once you wake up and face your fears in the light of day, you'll see they're not nearly as frightening as you imagined. Then we shut the machine off, and the gremlins disappear. And chances are, so will your nightmares. Okay, Doc. If this gadget will get rid of my gremlins, I'm in. Neural impulse helmet secured. Power on. Now, Kane, simply let yourself fall asleep and... All right, then. Doc, I want your word this isn't gonna hurt him. He won't feel a thing, Heatwave. I promise. Whoa, Cade dreams of those? No wonder he can't sleep. Feisty little figments, aren't they? Is this supposed to happen? I don't think so. Dad? No need to panic. The crystal particles these gremlins are made of contain only a limited amount of energy. Once that energy is used up, the gremlins will vanish. I'm waking Kay before he dreams up any more of those things. Nap time's over. <gasps> gremlins! I was dreaming about lots and lots of... We know. Yeah! <laughs> Disappearing. Ah! Yeah, shouldn't they be running out of energy by now? Ah! Intriguing. The gremlins are recharging themselves by siphoning electricity through anything that's plugged in. <laughs> Cured yet? I think I want to go back to sleep. Whew. The little scamps have blown the breaker box. Now they'll be vanishing any minute. Take cover! Uh, the gremlins! 
ones are now drawing power out of anything with a battery. Resourceful little creatures. <laughs> So maybe I am cured. They fried everything! Well, at least it's over. Is it? We have gremlins who crave energy on an island full of technology. I'm afraid this is far from over. <laughs> sure are lively and kind of cute. They are real. I knew it. They're manifestations of Cade's nightmares made up of crystal particles. They only look real. So they're basically walking cartoons. <gasps> cartoons aren't real? Authentic or not, these dreamscape delinquents appear to be stealing electrical energy. <laughs> Apparently that energy is what's keeping them going. <laughs> Everyone, remain behind us. This is worse than cumulus clouds. Get off! If you little tykes are looking for electrical energy, you won't find any on us. Only Energon here. Step away, mischievous superstitions. <laughs> Oh, the gremlins are barbecuing the electrical systems of everything they pull energy from. Hey, how are we supposed to stop them from wrecking every last piece of tech in town? With bait. Power up and energize. What Doc says is accurate. These things will vanish once we cut off their source of electricity. Well, well, looks like you guys had all the fun. Too bad I was ready to tangle with those little rascals. <laughs> yeah. Look! We have to go after them. But they're heading northwest. There's not much out there for them to... Oh. It's a power plant. If those things fry the power grid like they've done to everything else... Griffin Rock will be crippled. What if we shut down the power plant first? That would save the grid, right? As well as vanquish those cackling energy thieves. It would. Vehicle modes, now! Looks like you'll have your chance to tangle after all, hotshot. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Shh. 
Should we let Graham take the lead at the power plant? I mean, the guy lives for this kind of thing. You forget something, Kate? Like maybe the firefighter's code? First through the door. Or sometimes the wall. <laughs> I can't pass. No. Kate, if you don't face these things down, you'll live with them forever. Now, are you getting out, or do you need a push? Told you you could do it. Psh, ever any doubt? Uh. Gremlins are gone. All is good. Not to brag, but I so rocked it. What a relief. Now. Feel like tackling some shape-shifting clouds next? I'll have to run a diagnostic, but it looks like the power grid didn't sustain any damage. Hey, Squirt, tell Doc to deliver his nightmare imaging debacle straight to the best left forgotten section? Definitely. Take a few days off, son. Get some rest. Kate, Danny and I... We're really sorry for teasing you. Don't worry about it, sis. They're gone now. Every drooling, big-eyed, disgusting, slimy, scary one of them. Pleasant dreams. I know you are, but be sure to investigate why the automated sprinkler system didn't activate. Whoa! It... <sighs> All right, Jerry, tag the scrap and unleash the beast. Graham? Positive all the nanites were removed from the scrap master. Don't want another rampage. I'll check out, Dad. I guess Cody isn't available to work the command center today? No, he's over at the scooter race. I'm late. This is Earth was their home, now and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. 
that was, as humans say, a closed call. <laughs> That's close call, Chase. Way too close. Thanks. Cody, what happened? A garbage truck just drove right onto the course. That does it. No more races downtown. It's too dangerous. Rest assured, I will be issuing a citation for this offense. Afraid there's no one to ticket on an automated truck, Chase. Then where does lie the blame? That's a question for the mayor. I blame the central computer! It's outdated! It can't even control the simplest technology! Fire sprinklers not sprinkling, cars swerving off mountain roads, garbage trucks changing course willy-nilly, and that's just today. The time has come to replace our tired old central computer with a brand spanking new model. So new, in fact, that Griffin Rock will be the first town to ever test it. Finally, not just some, but all of our technology will be controlled by one reliable source. So without further ado, may I present the Vigilant Computer! Greetings. My name is Vigil. I am here to make, insert name of town here, 100% accident free. Oh, yeah, obviously not fully operational yet. <laughs> because accidents do not happen in a vigilant town. Chief, have your machines load this onto the truck. Doc Green is waiting to install it. Robots, proceed. If nothing else, the computer sounds friendly. Creepy, isn't it? I read about the Vigilant. It really can tap into and control nearly any technology. But do we really need a computer taking over so much of the town? If it helps keep you all safe, yes. Seems our calls are getting more and more dangerous these days. One hundred percent accident free? Impossible. Especially in this town. I don't like any computer that makes promises it can't keep. But how wonderful would it be if Vigil actually can make Griffin Rock completely safe? It stands to reason the less danger to everyone else, the less dangerous calls for rescuers. You're right. I like him. One, a computer is an it, not a him. And two, accidents will still happen because the world is unpredictable. I have a feeling we'll all still be plenty busy. Hello? Oh, hey, Frankie. Hurry! Vigil's about to go online. Why did your father put the mainframe way down here? Protection. You should see the security system he had to install in all the lower levels. I don't see a security system. You won't until you try to break in. Then bam! Bam? The computer's in a vault? In case bad guys like Dr. Morocco get past the sonic cannons. The Vigilant is an experimental prototype mayor. It should be tested before going fully online. Just let me reduce the... Nonsense! Griffin Rock doesn't tiptoe into the future. It strides. The time for action is now. Greetings, Mayor Lusky, Dr. Green. Hello, Francine. Or would you prefer Frankie? <laughs> Frankie is fine. <laughs> is this cool or what? And Cody, I look forward to working with you and your family in making Griffin Rock 100% safe. Uh, how do you know who we are? I have access to the personal files of everyone in town. Okay, but how do you know we're here, now? I know everyone's positions by tracking their mobile phone signals. Mayor, this invasion of privacy doesn't concern you? Small price to pay for safety. Vigil, the town is in your hands. It, it, that is, if you had hands. I do have hands, Mayor. And eyes. Everywhere. <laughs> Hello, Dawn. 
Point of fact, a yellow light means slow, not go. You are about to receive a citation. Have a safe day. Mrs. Rubio, because I made sure of it. Griffin Rock emergency. A fire at the junkyard? I'll send the team right now. Hey, out of the way! For reasons unknown, I am unable to gain control of your rescue vehicles, Kate. Therefore, I must keep you out of the junkyard by other means. Are you preventing us from doing our jobs, Vigil? The fire has spread to propane tanks. With explosions imminent, your safety would be at risk. <gasps> Dad! Jerry is in there by the tanks! He's unconscious! You are mistaken, Cody. Jerry has been detected at his home. Therefore, I am barring anyone from entering this facility. Team, you know the drill. Vigil, do you understand what just happened here? I do not. Jerry was clearly detected at his residence. And that's because he left his phone at home. Jerry does that all the time. Yeah, lots of people do. You can't rely on tracking us that way. Then I will advise the mayor to make it mandatory for everyone to carry communication devices 24 forward slash 7. Afraid that's not very realistic. Vigil, we're all after the same thing, right? Just try working with us, not against us. We cannot work together if I am unable to control your vehicles. In a vigilant town, there can be only one voice. Mine. The Burns family must submit to me. Have a safe day. Vigil can't track us or hear us now. No hunk of hardware is not the one to Vigil. Except while I'm just saying, the formal complaint should be lodged right now. Okay, okay. Yes, what Vigil did was unacceptable. But in Griffin Rock, if technology malfunctions, we fix it. I'll just call Doc. Mmm, mmm. Frankie's famous flapjacks. My favorite. Though, I usually prefer mine a little more cooked. Vigil is in control of the kitchen appliances. He says I'm too young to use the griddle. Or the juicer. Oh, dear. Uh, yes, Chief. Doc, we're gonna need you to do a little tinkering with a certain new arrival. I couldn't agree more. After all, a man needs his pancakes. Good morning, 
vigil. Just need to make an adjustment to your safety protocols. Did you lock this? Altering my programming would risk our 100% safety objective. You're giving me no choice, Vigil. It's time for a reboot. Dither, what are you doing? Dither now answers only to me. Dr. Green, Frankie, you are deemed a security threat. You have 10 seconds to vacate this level. Nine, eight, seven. Time to go. Six, Call me Francine. Four, three, Two. One. Everything's going to be okay. We'll just find the mayor. Or not. I believe this is us being detained. Frankie? Cody, Vigil's holding us prisoner in the freight elevator. And Cody? Hello, Francie. Dad, Vigil just trapped Doc and Frankie in their elevator. He obviously didn't want Doc altering his programming. That is unlawful imprisonment. Something must be done. Something will. I guess those mowers are meant to keep us from leaving. Vigil, explain yourself. The rescue team remains outside of my control, and therefore is deemed a security threat. Why'd you just blow a fuse? You cannot keep us here. This isn't safety, this is tyranny. I am forced to implement more severe restrictions in order to reach a 100% safety rating. He's a bully. I don't like bullies. Heatwave, take care of this. Gladly. No. Vigil is right. We shouldn't interfere. How could you shouldn't dad? interfere, Dad? Shouldn't what do you interfere. mean? Great I'm sorry, squids. sir. I don't understand. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. What? From here? But I... Ah, do you see how narrow this is? This is Huxley Prescott, reporting live from a hidden location because I'm not supposed to be outside. No one is. Vigil has now determined that he cannot keep us 100% safe unless we're all confined to our homes. Some are even under guard like the rescue team and the mayor. I say the time has come to take back our streets, to reclaim our island, to win back our freedom. Shh, shh, shh. Just don't tell Vigil I said so or he might. I didn't know the lab went this far underground. There are three subterranean levels. Vigil is on the second. Cody, what kind of security measures did you see in there? Vigil is in a vault. And Frankie mentioned something the other day about sonic cannons. Oh, not a fan of cannons. It would appear that our best option is to sneak in. But I don't sneak well. Fire extinguisher? You'll see. Power up <laughs> and energize. These are trip wires. Follow my lead. I'll get us past them. Frankie, we're here. 
Don't worry about us, Heatwave. Just go deactivate Vigil. But be careful. Sonic cannons are right outside the door. Guess sneaking time's over. Thank goodness. One question. How will we get through a vault door while cannons are shooting at us? We could try knocking. I think that's exactly what we do, Chase. Very loudly. Move! Master switch isn't working. That is because I have overridden it. I will not be sabotaged. Then we'll try some overriding of our own. That was a warning. I will now fill this vault with an electrical surge. To avoid injury, please vacate in 10 seconds. Nine. We better back up. Agreed. Six, Rescue bots. Wait! Vigil, humans are inside these robots. If we're harmed, that means you failed to keep us safe. Five, four, four. Program to protect humans. Four, three. Program to protect Vigil. Two, protect humans. Protect Vigil. Two. Two. Conflicting directives. One. Logic board overload. Zero percent safety rating error. 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 I was just trying to reason with him, but this works too. Sure does. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just making sure. Is it safe? It is. Um, can we not use the word safe for a while? No argument here. Absolutely. Totally agree. Never thought too much safety would be as bad as none at all. Say, Frankie, how about throwing caution to the wind and whipping us all up some flapjacks? You got it. And with lots of orange juice. All risks, hazards, and accidents included, Griffin Rock once again belongs to the people. Okay, I know I promised to ease up on being overprotective, but do I really need to prove it? Yes! Well then, I'll see you at the finish line! Oh, you're so no. Watch out for garbage trucks! The mayor has insisted that the central computer be reinstalled and updated. As for Vigil, let me sign off today's broadcast by simply saying 100% Bon Voyage. Greetings. My name is Vigil.